Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim and today we are back at the log home build here on the ridge and you have asked how much did it cost to build this log home? Took us two years to build it. We general contracted ourselves. We're gonna give you all the details on the materials, the labor, everything. Let's do this. Show you the time of your life I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love Baby, you've been driving me crazy so We have compiled the total cost to build our log home here in West Tennessee just for you. You've asked so many times, we are answering that today. I've separated it into uh, all the different subcontracting costs we had, HVAC, plumbing, electrical, all that. And then of course through Honest Abe, our log home supplier, the package of logs we bought. So we built a 1,400 square foot custom log home here in West Tennessee. Uh, it was based on Honest Abe's Dakota floor plan. Now this was Grandma Carol, my mom's retirement uh, home. It's where she's going to live the rest of her life on the back 30 of our Ridge property. So she modified it exactly the way she wanted. Took it from a three bedroom to a two bedroom, a uh, big walk in closet downstairs where the master bedroom is. Uh, she's got a giant mud room, all the amenities she needs. Then upstairs in the loft is a second bedroom for guests, for gr grand great grandkids to come and visit. And of course, a big bathroom and a big closet upstairs. We love the beams and all that stuff. And we'll show you little pieces of that today uh, of the building of each of these steps uh, video added to as we give you the cost. So again, this was a 1400 square foot log home system from Honest Abe Building Systems. We did not um, mill these logs ourselves from, from logs here on the Ridge property. Yeah, I couldn't do that. So we went with Honest Abe out of Moss, Tennessee, and we are tickled to death at this log home system. Now these are Genesis logs, are 12 inch rectangle timbers by six inch uh, deep and they connect very very uniquely seal wonderfully we got uh, one inch chinking on the outside and I think it turned out nicely we'll show you again pictures throughout we go so before we get into the cost of our log home building system let's go over some of the subcontracting costs like plumbing HVAC and electric you go to build you a home out in the middle of the woods, you're going to have to clear some land. So we did have someone come out with a dozer and excavator. They had to clear the uh, power, power line for us, so that, that was a good distance from the road. We also had to clear and level all this land all around the log home, because this was a, 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 the woods out here. And we also had them level out for our foundation. So. All of that together was $14,700. We did a lot of clearing and a lot of land work that you may not have to do, um, but dozer time is not cheap. Turned out great. After we got the land cleared, one of the first things we did is had this metal garage built. Um, we wanted a place to store our building materials, store the things we'd purchased that were going to go in the home before the foundation was even put down. So we cleared the land and then we built this steel garage. Now, um, the gray, I think, complements the foundation blocks of our log home. The galvanil bright silver roofing matches that on our log home. So I think it's a very, very good complement. It uh, cost about $10,000. That's the concrete pad and the labor and the materials to build our garage. 
foundation is key to a well-built log home and we got a great contractor to do our foundation. Uh, we use these rough faced cinder blocks. Uh, there's like three high on this side, four or five high on the uh, north side. The, the, the land does slope down for drainage and we have the vents, we have the vapor barrier, everything was set up nicely. They did a wonderful job working with our contractor that did the uh, clearing and, and leveling. Uh, all the uh, interior pillars, uh, nice and level, supporting the house, the hurricane strap, everything was done to code and perfectly done. $12,800 for a well-built foundation. <laughs>power ran out to our logo home was not an easy feat. We had had the power company come out, do an assessment. They said we need three power poles and a transformer to get power out here to our log home. So it was $800 a pole plus $800 for the transformer. Watching them installing was really, really cool. I got a little bit of video of that for you. And then of course we had to hire the electrician. The electrician uh, connected the power pole all the way out to our log home, installed our service here, and then ran power throughout our log home. Now we did general contractor, as I, I told you earlier, but we subcontracted out the electrical and they did a really great job. The total cost for electrical was $10,400. Now that did include running out some uh, power to our garage, again, which was external to the home, which was very, very small overall cost, but $10,400 to get a electrical service to our log home. you're building a home, you're going to need water quickly, you're going to need electricity quickly. That's uh, so for some of the first two things we did after clearing the land and uh, getting that foundation going uh, is get water to the place. So we had a contractor come out and uh, dig our well. I forget, forgot exactly how deep we went. It was a couple hundred feet or so. Uh, wasn't too much more than we expected uh, as far as cost and depth. Uh, but we've got perfectly clear water, no filtration, taste wonderful. $5,200 is what it cost to dig our well. for insulation, we decided to go with a blown-in insulation over a spray foam or a standard fiberglass insulation. The uh, uh, blown-in, it's, it's wet when it goes in, they blow it in, it fills the void in, it sticks in there, and then when it dries, they scrape it off a level with the stud walls, and I think it's going to do very, very well. We've already seen uh, it ke it's kept our utility uh, levels down. You're like, wait, wait a second, Tim. Where is insulation? It's not in the roof. Our roofing system is like 13 inches thick with uh, solid foam boards and uh, the two-inch tongue and groove and the decking. So there's, there's no that type of insulation in our, our ceiling, our roof. It's in these walls up here because the downstairs walls all the way around are these solid 12 inch by six inch timbers. But above there where those windows are and our shed dormer and then the, uh, the opposite side uh, peak with the loft is, is a conventional wall. What it is on the outside, there are um, uh, log siding, uh, wood siding that match the timbers, the log timbers, and uh, they have chinking in between them just like the, the regular wood does. Uh, so it's a conventional wall behind that and that's where the blown in insulation is. And I'll show you a little video of us doing that, but our total cost for that was $1,365. <laughs>Look at that beautiful roofing system. Um, it's a Galvalume shiny bright silver roof and of course it complements the Appalachian style of the uh, Genesis 12 by 6 timbers perfectly I believe. So we paid $8,500 to get that roofing system put in. I think it looks great. Once you get water, you got to have some place to put it. So our plumber came in and uh, took care of all our PEX piping. We used PEX Pro. That's the uh, white opaqueish uh, uh, PEX piping with the black connectors. Uh, ran it throughout the house. We, our, our shower insert and all, you know those fixtures did come in our package. And we also had them install this natural gas tankless water heater. It's external natural gas 
um, all of our utilities are outside the home. We didn't want to take up any space in our little log home uh, with utilities, with air handlers, with water heaters. So everything is on the outside, all insulated and all that. $9,750 for our uh, water supply, plumbing, and heating. In addition to electricity, we have natural gas for our utilities. We had a uh, natural gas regulator and meter installed from the county highway, which was pretty far away, but we use it for our uh, tankless uh, natural gas water heater. And we also have it for our HVAC package unit. That's where our hot air comes from. Everything is, that uses gas is outside here. Nothing in the house uses gas. Very, very safe. $1,100 to get gas ran out to our log home. Our well is in the back of the property. Our septic is here in the front of the property. It's a conventional 1,000 gallon concrete container. We've got our field lines running under the driveway on the other side of the garage, downhill uh, to the north there. Uh, had no issues with the perk test other than just making sure it was placed on the right side of the house. Uh, the total cost for our septic system was $5,200. We did our gutters and downspouts to match our roofing system. The roofing system, bright, shiny, galvalume. Same thing here on the uh, downspouts and the gutters. We did the front and the back, all for about 950 bucks. We did not want this log home to be overpowered with that wood look. Yes, we love the rustic look of a log home. You know, we've got wood everywhere. It's on the ceiling, it's on the walls, it's on the floor, it's, it's on the doors, uh, the barn style doors. But we didn't want every wall to be wood looking. So we actually did go with some drywall and we went with drywall under the stairs here in the hallway. So the interior walls have drywall and I believe with this light gray we put here it, it complements the wood of our log home and for drywall which is not cheap we paid three thousand eight hundred dollars <music> Look at this stain and chinking here on the side. This is the sun side, the south side of our log home, and it is just beautiful. Love the color, love how it's, it's fading in the sun. Uh, the chinking uh, complements the stain very, very well. The stain and chinking did come with our log home system, so it was included in the package. Application of it was not. So if you can do this yourself, you can save yourself a ton of money. Uh, the stain for the interior uh, came with the system as well. Now, we had a finisher, a guy who came in and trimmed out the windows and trimmed out the stairs and uh, you know, did all that little hide the electrical wires on, on the beam and the ceiling beams and all that. It's the same person who had a lot of experience doing log homes and he stained and chinked our log home. Started off spraying, oh my goodness, the wind and it wasn't absorbing very well. So they can go have him to brush. Brush took forever, but he did a very, very good job. Now we did use permachink, permachink stain and permachink uh, chinking. And that's uh, a, a great brand. I highly recommend that to everyone who's looking at staining and chinking. Permachink is, uh, I, I believe, the industry leader. You may want to do some research for yourself. So finish work, staining inside. Now, I don't have two separate costs for that. Sorry, guys, because we use the same person. $27,500. So if you can do that yourself, um, the finish work and, and the, uh, the staining and chinking, you can save yourself a ton of money. Now, I did a lot of the, the baseboards and stuff like that, so it could have cost more, um, but that's 
$27,500 for staining, chinking, and interior finish work. So save yourself some money, learn how to do that yourself. Otherwise, there's gonna be a big cost there. I wanna lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck. I guess that this is what they call love. For flooring, we went with a life-proof, multi-width uh, vinyl plank flooring. Uh, you're like, damn, vinyl in a log home? Um, Grandma Carol's got dogs, and we got grandkids and great-grandkids coming through here. This vinyl plank flooring is going to last a long time, and I installed it myself. So um, we just had the cost of the materials, which was about $4,200, and uh, I installed the rest of it myself, and I think it turned out nicely. Back in the kitchen here, you can see our awesome custom cabinet cabinetry that was made. It has the, the self-closing drawers and doors and just all the cool little features. We love how they turned out. And uh, of course, these beautiful countertops. Oh my goodness, those are, are gorgeous. Now, uh, for the cabinets, the total price was $6,650. And for the countertops, it was $1,800. And we were pleased to get these at that cost. I burned out like a wandering ember I shone bright and my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began no matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. There was a lot of controversy and contention with our choice of how we did our stairs and our rail system here on the log home. Uh, we went with a galvanized metal with the, the crisscross wood pattern. Uh, we believe the, 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 the stair treads themselves turned out beautifully, but Grandma really liked that, uh, that metal corrugated, you know, uh, galvanized steel look with the crisscross uh, barn pattern. It's all on the top rail and, of course, over here. Uh, uh, I think it turned out fine, and, and if, she, if Grandma's happy, I'm happy. We paid about $1,500 for the treads. Uh, you know, a lot of the, the, the labor for the, uh, the rails was with finish work, which we'll combine later, but about $1,500 to get our stairs done. For HVAC, we decided to go with a train package unit, which means everything is outside. The air handler, the, the natural gas heater, 
and the condenser, everything's outside, and then we have a crawl space, and the return and the supply ducting goes through the crawl space, up through registers in the floor, and we have return plenums, uh, it, two downstairs and one upstairs, of course, with the register upstairs going through a duct. So all of that is at, most of the controls are out here. Now we do have a Nest thermostat, really, really nice Wi-Fi Nest thermostat inside. Again, all of this, $9,850. Obviously, this is a log home and it's made out of wood and with wood comes pests, termites. You got to make sure uh, your log home is going to last a very, very long time, uh, the life of you and hopefully your kids, right? So pest control is a, is a must. So we did have the foundation treated for termites. We do have a termite contract. They uh, have a vapor barrier uh, installed in, in the crawl space, $840 for our termite treatment and contract. Now we did have various miscellaneous costs that we'll just sum up together here. Uh, we had builder's insurance, that was $530. Uh, we had the septic permit, the building permit by the county at $406, $843 for $1,250 for permits. Uh, we had um, about $600 extra for stain uh, you know the again honest abe supplied the stain we end up having to buy a little bit more that was not in that package so about six hundred dollars for stain and then um for lighting uh, and uh, other miscellaneous things we bought you know, like for the garage and um was about five thousand dollars with uh with all the little extras we bought again that was not in our plan so little extras you gotta count for them we do have a really nice gravel driveway leading all the way from the county road and the cost of that gravel driveway was included in the land clearing price. I, I might not have mentioned that earlier, but we did get a sidewalk poured. Uh, that way you step off the gravel onto a clean sidewalk. Won't be tracking in mud and debris in the log home. And I think it complements the front of the log home very, very nicely. About $2,350 to get all of the um, sidewalk done front and back. We have two sidewalks. Now that we've gone over all the extra costs like HVAC, plumbing, and electric, let's get back to what the log home package cost. And again, that was with professional log home assembly and construction, all of the windows and doors, effectively all the wood you know, needed to build this log home. The total price for all that is $101,600. I'm pretty happy with that, you know, seeing how the supply chain issues and the, the, the lumber price craze. Again, this took two years to build this house since we were general contracting ourselves. Um, once we had the foundation and all that together, then the log home people came in and did their job and they did a wonderful job. Honest Abe, log homes, you guys did a great, great job. Now the all in price. Now if you uh, include the garage, which we had a garage added to it, the grand total was $250,000, but let's minus the garage because a lot of you aren't doing that separate garage, which has nothing to do with a log home. That price brings us to about $240,000. So for about $240,000, you can have a beautiful custom Honest Abe log home for yourself. Now, I don't know what the current prices are, but that's what we paid for our log home. Hope you enjoyed watching us go over the cost of what it takes to build this log home over the past two years here in West Tennessee on the Ridge. If you thought building a stick frame conventional home cost about the same as a log home, you are sadly mistaken. This little 1,400 square foot home did again cost about $250,000 with the garage and, and the land clearing and the driveway and the found all that stuff, about a quarter of a million dollars. And you think a quarter million dollars, you can probably get a, a fairly large uh, conventional home. So um, there are things to take into consider other than just the log home package cost and the uh, cost to assemble it as well. They're standing and chinking. The labor for that is not cheap. Now, if you can do all that yourself, yeah, that may be the right thing for you. I would love to build a little off-grid log cabin here somewhere on the property. Uh, much, much smaller than this, much less ornate than this. Um, but out in the middle of the woods, a, a, a log home, a little small cabin, a little hunting retreat. That would be so cool. If you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to Ridge Life. It's free. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. Guys, share these videos. Share them on Facebook. Share them on Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media you use. I'd sure appreciate it if you share them out to uh, those that may be interested to this as well. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life. Take you out, show you the time of your life. I want to figure out 
What it takes to give you everything you deserve I want to lay beneath the stars with you in the back of my truck I guess that this is what they call love Baby, you've been driving me crazy Something and stay in. Put a record on, let's hide the phones and make believe the world don't exist. Let's pull up ties and take a trip to some place new. Driving me crazy for so long now. And my love for you is insane, but I wouldn't change a thing unless you wanted me to. I do anything.